before I had the surgery, about, I would say maybe the pain lasted about, I had about nine months. As the months went on, it, it just kept getting worse. And uh, I would say the pain was at a nine. And I went to um, a couple different doctors and uh, they uh, just gave me pain pills and I took pain pills and, and I took more pain pills and more pain pills. And well, my kids made fun of me once in a while taking them because it made me kind of goofy. And it was a vicious pain. I couldn't do anything. I was used to doing hard work. I mowed, always mowed my lawn. I, I, I got a shop. I was doing my machine quilting and all before this. But once this, I got this pain, I could hardly do anything. I could hardly sit. I could hardly stand or, or sleep or anything without pain pills. I had the MRI, but my sister was the one that told me. She said, you bring that in to me and I will get you a doctor. And she said, I've got a lot of faith in this doctor, and I couldn't even pronounce his name. And, uh, and anyway, I said, well, spell it. And she did. And, um, and she said, he'll do you right. Anyway, she had an appointment within three, four days. And, um, and then he said, well, walk across the floor. I wanna see you walk. I don't know what he could see, but he told me then, he said, you need surgery. And, and I said, well, doctor, when can you do it? And he said, when do you want it done? I said, tomorrow. And he said, okay. And uh, so he did. He did it the next day. Uh, the morning after the surgery then, Jason, Dr. Tolentino's assistant, came in and asked me how I was doing. And I went to rubbing my leg and I told him, I said, Jason, I have no pain in that leg anymore. Always before, I don't care if I was sitting, standing, or in bed, I still had that pain in my leg. Even though taking pain pills, I was still having that pain. And when he came in that morning I, uh, and asked me, and I thought, and I moved every which way just to try to make it, you know, to see. And he says, well, we took all the pain away. That's the, how he put it. Surgical site was um, sore and then I had uh, therapy at the nursing home and as soon as that healed I was in that pool again which I think helped a whole lot too. It's, it's been 14 months since I had my surgery and I haven't had pain, back pain for well months. One of the happiest moments was whenever I went to see Dr. Tolentino for the last time, uh, he wanted to give me a prescription, but he said, we gotta cut this way back now and kinda get you off of these drugs. And I said, Doc, don't believe I need any. I said, I can, I, uh, I think I can take a Tylenol now and, and uh, it'll take care of it. And so I didn't have to take those heavy drugs anymore. And so I was, well, my whole family was thrilled that, that uh, I had gotten off of those drugs. And uh, so now, like I say, I take a, take a Tylenol or an Advil, or, and that's about the extent of it. I asked him why that uh, the other doctors wouldn't uh, do anything, and he told me, he said, well, a lot of it was your age. And I thought, well, I, Doc, I'm not an old lady. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, he did, and um, and I was very, very pleased at uh, the re the results. Now I I do um, I mow two and a half acres. I trim, I do the trimming and the riding mower, and. Uh, I take care of the house and I do my alterations and quilting and I do just about, I do everything that I did before. And, uh, and I'm just real pleased how this surgery went that I, I'm able to do these things now. But he said for my age, he said you did super. And uh, well, at a super doctor. So, 
if a person were, say, in their 70s, and uh, like me, I was worried too, but uh, I would say, have it done. I would not, I would not go through all that suffering that I went through and, and taking all those high-powered drugs to keep the pain down. And if I had to do it again, I would go back to the same doctor and, and, um, cause he done well.